If you're like me, then you just love cars, and I really do. I just love any kind of car I get my hand on, drive around, sort of. This is a top-down kind of design, really cool looking, pretty. And I just love cars. And so, you know, I'm always interested when a new sort of used car dealership opens up. And you know, used car dealerships, boy, they are something. Because if you think about it, used car, used car salespeople are sort of like other animal species. You know, when a couple arrive in a new area, all of a sudden they start to multiply. You've seen tons of them. All of a sudden there's sort of long streets where all you see is used cars, used cars, used cars. In fact, you know, you see this great sign, you know, quality used cars. There they are. That's the kind of car I'd buy. Right. So, okay, fine. So you have all these sort of used car dealerships. But then, of course, after a while, the market becomes a little bit saturated, and then there are less new car dealers coming, moving into town, and then so forth and so on. This, by the way, is also the same model for animal species as well, not just used car salespeople. But anyway, they also work for used car salespeople if you think about it very loosely. Sort of loose. I'm thinking about it. Okay. Well, let's actually take a look at a particular town, my town, my happy town, where in fact uh, I can tell you about the used car dealers and how many they were. It turns out that after uh, T months, after some used car dealers were introduced into my particular town, the population of used car dealers actually is equal to 500 times the log of 2T plus 3. Where, three again, where T again represents the number of months since these used car dealerships were first introduced into the population and they started to multiply, basically, just like an animal species would. And so the first thing I want to know is can we actually solve for T? That is, to figure out what uh, the population is, um, I'm sorry, figure out what time is in terms of the population. So I want to solve this for T, solve this for time. Right now, the way this formula works is if you give me time, how many months, I can tell you what the population is. I want to now solve it for t. So if I tell you what the population is, I want to know how long I have to wait until I have that population. So how do I solve this for t? Well, what I would do if I were me, and I am me, so I'm going to do it, is to try to isolate the log, right? Because I just want to get a log over to one side. So I'm going to divide everything through by 500. And so I see population p divided by 500 equals log, and remember a naked log is log base 10, so I'll actually write that in there just to avoid any obscenity on the web. No nudity here. I see log base 10 of 2t plus 3. Okay, great. Well now I can just remember what a log is. A log is an exponent. So that's the exponent I have to raise the base 10 to in order to get that value. So I can just convert this into the identical statement, which would say 10 to the p over 500 power equals 2t plus 3. Well, great. Well, now what do I do? Well, now what I would do is just uh, subtract 3. So if I subtract 3, I see 10 to the p over 500 power, and then minus 3 equals 2t. So what does t equal? I just divide by 2. So 10 to the p over 500 minus 3, all divided by 2. So there's the answer. I've solved for t in terms of p. Okay, fine. Now, given that, I can actually answer all sorts of things. For example, how long will I have to wait until there are 500 used car salespeople in my community? Well, that means I know the population and I want to find T. So I just put in 600. Let's say I want to see 600. I want to know how long do I have to wait until I have 600 car dealers, dealers living uh, near, me, near me. So I put 600 right in there for P and solve for T. So I'd see T equals... 10 to the 600, all divided by 500, that's all in the exponent, minus 3 over 2. Well, that equals 10, and those zeros cancel, 6 over 5 power, minus 3 over 2. And you can plug that into a calculator, and you'd see the answer of 6.4244 so on, months. Units are months. So that means in just a little over a half a year, I will have 600 used car salespeople living in my town. So much for property values. And so much for this discussion. See you soon.